Hey Taurus babies, this is EJ from Tarota Tarot. Hope you guys are having a good birthday month. Hope you had a good start to the week today. This is going to be your kissing series. So this is Taurus and Aquarius sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. That's what we're doing. Nine cards spread. One for recent past. One, one row for current energy and one row for future energy. One card for overall plus one. And three cards for guidance from the universe. And I'll pull an oracle card from each of the oracle decks that I have. So I'm going to shuffle. And I cut these up, Taurus. This is for Taurus and Aquarius, May 2019. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. So let's see what we got going on here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So taking a short break. That's your overall energy. And I've been pulling this extra one. <laughs> so the storage will explain itself. Let's pull these cards and see what's going on. So for your recent past, we have the Three of Coins. The strength card. The seven of Wands. For current energy, Five of Wands. Centerpiece card is the Nine of Swords. We're all up at night talking, doing something. Shit. Four of Coins. Future energy, Five of Cups. Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. Okay. A little complicated, but not too tough. Not too tough. Okay. So, for your overall energy tours with your Aquarius, <laughs> the Four of Swords, um, because this Aquarius is an air sign, Swords is related to the air, um, it may be that both of you are just taking a step back, trying to recharge your batteries. Um, taking a, a teeny tiny break maybe just to get your bearing this is for Taurus and Aquarians that have been at it for a minute this is not brand new it's not brand new energy at all um, but they're overall taking a short break with this ten of swords here I want to say the worst is over and if the card will reverse that would be what it would mean but I still feel like you may still have some issues coming at you, um, maybe to clear up some things with your partner. We're going to hold on to that ten of swords, hold on to that thought for a minute, and see where we end up here. So in your recent past with the three of coins, it looks like you guys were trying to work together towards you in particular. You look like you're putting in the hard work in this relationship. Uh, and you were trying to make plans and make some headway. This is your recent past. With the street car being right next to it, though, it seems like you may have somebody's ego got in the way. It's a major, major card. So whatever happened, there may have been an argument or a discussion with the seven wands on the other side of the street card um, where you guys got into it about something and you really had to stick up for yourself, Taurus, and defend what you believe in and what you value. Um, this is really resonating for Taurus, Taurians and Aquarians that don't live together. Um, these, this, this energy is coming back for relationships that are trying to get to the next level, but they're not there yet. And they just, it's just a lot of the detail work that goes into having a good relationship at some point. If you can get out of this energy of, of being in defense mode, more or less with the seven of wands here. For your current energy with the five of wands, it seems like Taurus, you are all over the fucking place in your head. Y'all have not focused for, I, I'm just feeling that from whatever went on here within the last, I'm going to say two to three weeks from your recent past, whatever uh, kind of misunderstanding or argument or discussion was held, it is causing you to just be all over the place and you're thinking do you want to stick with the relationship do you want to walk away from the relationship do you want to just take a break do you want to run away do you want to find Denzel and marry him whoever I'm just saying 
I'm just saying, you know, that's where your mind is. You're just all over the place. And of course, that's gonna lead to a lot of sleepless nights. Because Taurus, I just I hear you. And this is your centerpiece card. You have a lot of questions that you feel like aren't being answered by your Aquarian. Um, and that this is their energy is I'm not mistaking that at all. I got it. Uh, but your Aquarian is on your mind. And you're trying to figure out what the fuck to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Um, there is an element of divine timing in all of this. Um, and some things are just going to be out of your control towards you're going to have to sit it out. I know bulls do not like to sit. They don't like to be told to sit. <laughs> and they particularly don't like to be told to wait. Even though we are probably one of the slower moving signs, we still like to have our freedom and our options. And when somebody or something is making us sit and wait, we like, yeah, uh -huh, that ain't working. The, the Nine of Swords, I want to say you feel mentally trapped, but you don't feel mentally. I don't think it's really about feeling trapped. It's like you feel like you there's only one way you can think about this process, and that may be incorrect, Taurus. There are a lot of ways you can think about the process. It's just a matter of are you willing to change your perspective you again you have a lot of questions that, that haven't been answered or you are coming up with a lot of questions that need to be answered so my knee-jerk reaction is to tell you to go and get your Aquarian and sit them down and make them tell you at horn point <laughs> at the threat of being bored what the hell is going on what do they want what do you want Taurus what, what do you want out of this relationship um, I feel the struggle I feel the, the, the lack of focus right now. I feel all of this. And so the only way you're going to get any clarity is to get with your Aquarian and find out what the hoo-ha is going on. For those of you that are thinking grass is greener on the other side, my lovely bulls, take it back to the bullpen. That ain't going to work. The grass will not be greener on the other side. Those of you that have other options, other suitors looking at you, talking to you, winking at you, making eyes and shit, it's going to be more about sexual energy. That's really what's coming back to me. Um, I'm sorry. I had to cut my air on. Get warm. Anyhow, this this is the grass looking greener. This is your current energy. You may have some people, some suitors, if you will, coming towards you. you want to get to know you. Want to talk to you. However, do not think the grass is greener on the other side. It ain't. It ain't. This is, it, again, I'm, it's a real strong sexual pull when I pick that card up. So whoever's coming towards you and they might have you thinking the grass is greener on their side, it's really about the sex and that's it. They're not trying to go any further. They're more curious than anything. They like you, but they're not trying to get into no serious uh, relationship. That is not your Aquarian and not who I'm talking about. The grass being greener on the other side. For those of you that have some options... Maybe one, two, or three. I'm just telling you, it's not what it looks like. So just be aware. For your future energy with the Five of Cups, there's a way to work on this, y'all. Whatever you're going through with your Aquarian right now, there is a way to work on it. However, because this is Cups, Cups are emotions. Don't get your emotions all up in this shit. You see those two Cups back there. Them two cups back there are trying their damnedest to outshine them three cups on the ground. So that's also telling me, Taurus, you need to leave the past in the past. You cannot keep, I know I'm a Taurus, I do this shit too. Well, you know, back in November, I remember when you said, uh-huh, uh-huh, no, we ain't trying to go there. Let those two cups back there shine. Let them do, let them do their thing. Let that shit do, do wine they done spilt on your carpet. Just let it go. Let it go. For whatever reason that it's bothering you, I don't know that it's worth a whole relationship being jacked around because you won't let go of the past, Taurus. I feel you. You're in your emotions. Somebody poked you in your butt, and now the bull is ready to just go charge and gore at whoever's there, and you are taking every little bit of information that you have from anything that ever happened. Since the beginning of the relationship, you schlepping it around, and every time you get into an argument, first thing you're doing... I remember you told me six months. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's not working right now, Taurus.
So focus on those two cups in the back. Fuck whatever it is on the ground right now. If you want to keep this going, if you want to manifest this to another level, to a better level, focus on the positive. And I'm talking to me too, so when I, if I do the playback on this six weeks from now, <clears throat> like I'm known to do, I can reflect on me not focusing on the past. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right. With the, uh, the Nine of Cups here right next to it, it, it's not a mistake. Your wishes will come true huh? if you do not get stuck over here in the past. You can have whatever it is you're trying to manifest over here if you don't get stuck in the past. It is very easy to get stuck in the past, especially if you feel like situations, problems, um, occurrences happened and you really didn't get any closure. Sometimes it's not about the closure. Sometimes you need to quit looking for the end of something and look at the something itself, why something may be happening. Um, a lot of times we get into relationships with people and we expect that anything they were doing one minute prior to them meeting us is null and void. And that's not so. You can get into relationships with people and they have, you know, depending on how well people know how to end things or cut things off, they may have connections or ties to people in the past, and it may not necessarily be romantic, but because you don't know, you just assume the worst, and go, ah, no, let the past go, so you can manifest what you're trying to manifest, Taurus, and that, at the end of all of it, is going to require you to change your attitude, easier said than done, I know, trust me, but you're going to have to, if you want to keep this relationship going in any kind of forward, forward direction, you're going to have to let go of the past and you're going to have to change your attitude. You are going to have to be a bit more positive just even within yourself about what you want to happen. Because while this relationship may very well may fizzle out, it may end, I'm not getting that energy right this minute, but it's always a possibility. Everybody has free will. Um, you don't want to look back on it and say, well, if I had just change my attitude or change my perspective on whatever aspect of this relationship but because i didn't the shit went south you have to think about things like that and then you have to consider what is it that you need to really change your attitude about is it the relationship the person in the relationship the person the people around you what do you need to change your attitude about and changing your attitude is not easy but if you want to keep something, sometimes it's necessary to do that. Let's see what the universe has for guidance for you, Taurus, with your Aquarian. <clears throat> I'm talking about changing attitudes. You change your attitude, some of the pressure of the relationship will ease up on you as well. It's about issues, difficult problems coming at you from every direction, ten of swords. Um, I truly feel like the worst of whatever you're going through has moved past you. The storm clouds have moved past you. That does not mean you don't have to heal. Come on now. It does not mean that you don't have to clean up the yard. Come on now. And it does not mean that you aren't going to smart behind this for a while. Whatever difficulties that you encountered. Prior to this reading, in this relationship, we got to go back to the Five of Cups. You got to let it go. You have to. I know. I know. I'm the one. I want to carry it around for the rest of my life. Every time I see you, I want to just cuss you out for every bad thing that you did. You did. Can't do it, Taurus. You can't do it. So just know the worst, the, the worst of the storm clouds are past you, but uh, and you may still have a few difficult issues to deal with in this relationship moving forward nothing near the magnitude of what you've had to deal with in the past with your Aquarian um, I feel like your Aquarian is really glad that you have stuck it out this long because I think they know they have flaws as well and you very well could have moved up gotten who ride and rolled out <clears throat> you didn't you're still hanging on you're still trying to keep things going um, again, Taurus, you'll have to change your attitude. 
You're going to have to change your attitude. I believe your partner is, I firmly believe your partner really is, they love you and they're trying to work on this, but it's taking time. And, and for some of you, it's taking more time maybe than you thought it would have. Please do not fret. Do not fret. Um, with the Nine of Swords being your centerpiece card, <laughs> get those questions that you have in your head answered. That's your challenge, to get those questions answered um, in a way that you understand, in a way that you feel is meaningful. Don't let just somebody, don't, don't let your partner just throw some shit up against the wall and go there. No, explain why, why, are you, why you're saying this to me or why you feel this way about whatever it is you're discussing. Get into the beaten potatoes up. That's not going to hurt. In the long run, it will go a great deal further in helping the relationship run smoothly because you will discuss whatever it is you may be encountering at that point. Um, maybe not in any detail, but you may at least have some idea of how your partner is going to respond to any kind of, um, what do I want to call it, stimuli in the atmosphere. Yeah. To any problems you guys have in the future, conversations you have now will give you a good indicator of how they'll handle things going forward. So let's see what the universe has for, ooh, higher goals, dog on it. Trying to get on off them damn cups and on the firm ground and the five of coins. Okay. So up here with the six of wands. You're going to, the universe is kicking it back. You're going to achieve those higher goals that you're trying to achieve with this person. Do not fret that. You are. As I say that, the universe is telling you, you are rising above the situation. You are getting past the bullshit. You are getting off these little shaky ass cups and getting onto some firm ground. You are trying to step up. And that's a good thing. Know also that your partner is trying to do the same thing. Please do not feel like you aren't living up to your full potential. Usually this is about a girl just taking her shit and walking away. But if this were like this in the reverse, it's about not living up to your full potential or not feeling like you're living up to your full potential. If you feel like this, universe is kicking this back. If you feel like with your Aquarian, you're not living up to your full potential because you're dealing with all of this bullshit. Don't feel that way. There's no reason for you to feel like you are not living up to your full potential. Now, if we want to just pull it back and just take the car at face value, there's no need for you to walk away, Taurus. Some of you, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but some of you may be feeling like, you know what, fuck it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm tired of defending myself, and I'm tired of being just all unfocused, and I'm tired of being... <coughs> Don't walk away. Not yet. I know. Some of you going, really, lady? Are you serious? I should have been gone. Some... Hold on. Hold on. Don't forget, you can get into some astrology here, that Uranus is in Taurus. And even though we've been talking about it for almost a year and a half, it just got straight out of retrograde motion a few weeks ago. I think about two weeks ago. Um, it is in our sign to stay for the next seven years. So things that you think, are not going to work or things that you think are going to work or things that you haven't thought about ever coming into your existence get ready the shit that you've been doing it ain't gonna work try something new things that you've been experiencing they're getting ready to, they get ready for a shake-up just get ready for a shake-up but no you don't have to walk away from this just because you're trying to work through these issues um, for those of you that feel like you're doing a lot of this on your own, I'm going to bring you right back here. Your centerpiece card. Your challenge is to talk to your partner and get some questions answered. So you don't feel like you are stuck in the mud. I'm just saying. Worried about this shit here instead of worrying about this back here. Asking questions will help you focus better on what you want because you'll get some clarity. Um, I know sometimes Aquarians can be a bit elusive and evasive in their answers. I'm telling you, sharpen up, sharpen up your little horns, polish your tail, and get your Aquarian, sit them, sit them down at gore point, at, at horn point, and promise them you, you poke them. I'm just playing, but you know what I'm saying. Get them to sit down and talk to you. 
get them to sit down and talk to you. You're not going to be able to resolve any of the issues that you're having if you don't talk. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for guidance and support. Thank you. Thank you, universe. This is for Taurus and Aquarius. Taurus and Aquarius. Be your spirit. That came up in another reading I just did. And let's see what they got over here. The other oral cards. Yeah, there you go. Accelerated motion. So, feed your spirit. Taurus, take care of yourself in this process. Do not neglect you. And then if we're going to go a little further, follow your heart. When you feed your spirit, it's a lot easier to follow your heart. Feeding your spirit can be anything from sitting down, listening to music that you like, taking a hot bubble bath, having a glass of wine, having a glass of tea, having a glass of milk, however that's resonating. But feed your spirit. Go for a walk. Go stand out in the backyard for a minute. It's not going to kill you. Just go stand there. You ain't got to do nothing. You don't have to have a purpose for being back there. Just take your bull stuff right out there and just stand there. Get some fresh air. Look at the damn sky. Look at a tree. Count the leaves. Do something. But feed your spirit. Don't neglect yourself just because you're trying to work on issues in your relationship um, and your partner may be giving you a difficult time or just because you've got a lot of things coming at you from every direction with regards to your relationship. Don't neglect you. Damn that. Go take care of you and feed your spirit. Accelerated motion. I done told y'all. I've been saying it for the past six weeks. Buckle up. It's getting ready to get real. I'm just saying. And it's not going to slow down anytime soon. Accelerated motion is just that. Any problems that you ha you're having, you should be getting through them with communication, some trust, holding folks accountable for what they're doing. Moving forward. And universe ain't waiting on y'all all day to figure some shit out. You see that number eight up there? That's the number of infinity. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Taurus, I love you. Those of you having a birthday this week, happy birthday. And have a good week. I love you guys. I'll see you on Thursday for the weekend update. Bye, y'all.